2.4, just 2.4 meters. I think there are two millimeters missing. So uh, last week I bought this big wooden panel here. It's, it's like a board, but it, it will be a panel 2.4 meters long and 1.2 meter wide. I need to cut off 400 millimeters. I just don't know from which side I should start. This is, this is definitely the easier side to start with. And this is the harder one. Uh, I think we should start with the easier side. I don't know, <laughs> it's so much work. But first of all, welcome back to the off-grid garage here in not so sunny, not so sunny Australia. It is raining, drizzling, showering, but the perfect temperature to do such work. As you have seen in the intro, I'm very busy with preparing for the electrician visit next week. And we will get solar installed on all four roofs here. Garage, carport and the big shed next door. 14.4 kilowatt peak with a bit of a mix of panels. And I'm preparing as much as I can before they actually come in. So they have, they have it just easier than with the installation. And I can already prepare some work here, installing the breakers, connect this all to our DC bus bar. Well, you have seen the previous videos. I have spoken about this already. So let's get started. We have no time to waste. It is only, only five days, six days left until they come and replace the solar here. Even I know this appointment for the last four weeks. I haven't done anything because I was so busy making other videos. Well, anyway, let's start here with the easy side, I hope. See this hole there? That's a great pilot hole. Because it's right under this beam here. And this is exactly where I can make another hole, a bigger one, a larger one. A huger one. Is huger a word? It is now. Yeah, I wanna, wanna punch a hole there. And then they can come with the cable through and go all the way along with their conduit on the ceiling to the other side, to our power wall over there, connecting to the solar charge controllers, connecting to breakers first, then solar charge controller, and then back into the battery over here. But I want to get these holes in so they know where to put the cables through. Oh, look at this. This would be the perfect size. I'm a bit stuck. I really wanted to finish this part of the project tonight, but I haven't got the right tools. So I need to go to the hardware store tomorrow after work, but then I'm losing another day or another night. <laughs> but I really don't want to start with anything else like the breakers or cabling or something before I finish this part here. I don't want to start here and there a bit. This will get too confusing and I'm missing parts eventually. So, 
Tomorrow will be the night.